All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Mike Dragonetti from Dragon and Rescue Management. Uh, in this segment, we're gonna cover securing elevator power uh, in the machine room safely. That's the, the key important word is safely. Uh, one of the main things that we need to do when we get into a machine room is to identify which one is the actual power source. There may be another secondary shutoff that's in the vicinity of the mainline disconnect that's separate for the lights and fan uh, on the elevator that is usually a 110 circuit. Don't always go by the fact that the bigger panel is the actual uh, shutoff for the mainline disconnect. In all, in all actuality, we're gonna look for other clues that you're gonna see here. So if you look at the way this is set up, right now this is the mainline disconnect for car number two. Adjacent to it is the lights and fan switch. Don't always go by that the bigger box is your power. What I'm gonna look at, and my key clue on this whole setup, is the bigger pipe, bigger power. Smaller pipe, smaller power. That's gonna tell you the difference. So what I have here today is uh, I'm very fortunate to have part of my crew. Uh, Derek Thomas, 25 years as a firefighter in PA, 15 years as an elevator uh, mechanic uh, down in uh, PA as well. Uh, Derek is gonna walk us through step by step on how to properly and safely turn off a mainline disconnect. Thanks, Mike. In the elevator trade, the most important thing to us is that the fire department, one, gets us in route, tries to call us if we're available, and then two, goes and finds the machine room to come and secure the power source. Default to your, high, your fire department's highest level of PPE, whether that be turnout gear, hood, gloves, glasses, or greater equipment. In this case, we're gonna locate elevator number two is the one in question, corresponds with controller number two and machine number two. So we're gonna position ourselves on the hinge side of this disconnect, which is over here. PPE down, we're gonna inhale and then exhale or say something, line out, and the power is gonna go out while looking away. Once that's complete, take your lock, pull the tab out on this particular one, close it and keep it with you. If your department does not use lockout, tag out, the person that comes to do this needs to stay here and be strong enough to not turn the power back on until the incident commander or the person in charge of the rescue tells you to do that. Also, you may never be turning the power back on. The fire department does not turn on an elevator after it, after it has shut it off. Well, thanks for watching. We hope you picked up a few things. I'm Mike Dragonetti. This is Derek Thomas. Work smart, work safe, train safe.